my good girl. Meow. You're so enthused, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bye. Thanks for thanks for joining me for a second today. Hey dolls! So today I am opening another pastel pixie kawaii box. This one is the holiday kind of Christmas themed one and I'm so 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 excited about it. I do have a coupon link or code for you guys. It will be in the description box below so if you want to get money off your own little pastel pixie kawaii box check the description. But anyway, yeah, they sent me their holiday box and I'm so excited for this one. So here you can see the packaging is the same, just the little box and opening it up. I have not actually opened this yet. All I did was open it this far and I read the back of this little card and as always, it has an adorable little digital art illustration by Miss Jedi Flip, one of my favorite kawaii artists. Look at this little like gingerbread bear holding a candy cane. So cute, says Hop happy holidays cutie. And then on the back it just says, get in the holiday spirit with our sugary sweet exclusive designs in this quarter's kawaii box. Treat yourself or someone you love this holiday season with this ultra cute and festive merch from our pastel family to yours. And then here is all of the information. Again, I will go ahead and link the website down below so you guys can get your own pastel pixie kawaii box if you want. So this is the holiday box. What is that? This looks exciting so far. Usually they always include a t-shirt in every one of the pastel pixie boxes. So I'm gonna dig to the bottom and grab that out first and see what it is. So this is, ooh, who is this from? I'm not sure who this is by. This is not one of their normal pastel pixie shirts. Huh, I'm not sure who this is by. I don't know if there's a little card in here saying who it's by but I really wish that they would include like a tag on here or something saying who made the, sh the shirt design because I don't believe that this is a pastel pixie design because it would have their watermark on it somewhere or their name but as you can see it is completely different from the past boxes which kind of saddens me a little bit because half the reason you get the pastel pixie stuff is to have their over-the-top patterned cute clothing and so I don't know this is kind of I like that the artwork the artwork is cute I like the design of it however I just wish it was more colorful I wish maybe this was filled in colored something it, it needs to be a little bit more va va boom and kawaii for me it's it's a little too basic and then also in here i see some socks and i'm actually more excited about the socks than the shirt <laughs> i don't know if that's bad but these are so cute they are pink and white striped and they have little holly and hearts on them these are a hundred percent my aesthetic i will 100 and 10 billion percent wear these absolutely love these as far as fitting the theme they fit very very well all right and then we have this this is candy popcorn bath bomb and i love this because it has the name of the shop included if a brand is going to feature another small shop in their boxes i really really appreciate when they do include like a little tag or a business card or something somewhere even if it's a little watermark because if you really do love the product and you want to support the shop further you know where to go to do so and oh my gosh this smells like popcorn what the heck there is the little website right there so I'm very appreciative that this came with a website. So if I love this product, I can go to their website, check out their other products, and maybe purchase something later on. And you open it up, and it also has save 10% off your first online order using this coupon code. I'm not going to give it away because the people who got the box get to use the code. But it does have the little website on there again. And this smells crazy like popcorn. Oh my goodness. What the heck? This is so insane. But it is pink and it is so cute. It's wrapped up very nice and tightly. 
very cute this smells exactly like popcorn this is this is bizarre <laughs> i really like it so that's awesome so as far as staying true to the holiday christmas theme this is very appropriate because a lot of people string their christmas trees with popcorn or they make popcorn balls for like halloween through the winter months as well so i'd say that this is definitely appropriate especially with the winter months you like to take a nice warm bath and use a bath bomb so this is very appropriate and i will definitely be using this we have three more things in here we have the normal pastel pixie pin and this box has little two candy canes that are red and green with a little bow very cute i do wish that the candy canes weren't the traditional red and green colors but that's just me i prefer more of a pastel color christmas theme so i still think it's cute i still think it's very on brand and i like it i will be definitely putting this on my pin board and there are two things left we have a klepto cat little blind bag here so here are the ones that you can get really really want this little sprinkle snowman but i think the one we're actually going to be getting is probably which one's my least favorite i usually always get my least favorite with these so i think we're probably going to get the little elf guy right here but i'd be happy with this one 100 percent because it's my favorite and we have another bag okay we didn't get either of those ones we got the one in the ugly christmas sweater <laughs> he's actually really cute i wish that these were little keychains so you could actually like use them instead of just like sit them somewhere um i'm actually gonna give this to my dog and let him play with it because it's like the perfect size for him since he's like a little dog i just gotta cut these little tags off first but there are no beads or anything inside of it it's just stuffing and he's not known to ripping his toys apart at all whatsoever he's very gentle with them so luckily i can just give this to him and he can play with it which he will love and then the last thing in here came stock packaged like this from the manufacturer they didn't want to take it out because it could be a little bit more fragile or breakable which i completely and totally understand i'm glad they left it in the styrofoam like this there is a little tag over here, but I'm not going to read what it is. All right. Oh, yay. Oh, it is a pushing Christmas ornament. How cute is that? Drinking little hot cocoa with a Santa hat on and some styrofoam on the booty. Perfect. How cute is this? I love it. Oh, so, so precious. So 100% everything in this box was actually on theme, which I can appreciate because the last couple of boxes, not everything in the boxes were on theme. So I can definitely get behind this and appreciate this. I do wish, however, that the t-shirt was a pastel pixie traditional print shirt because that's half the reason i enjoy getting the boxes for the t-shirts but it's okay i'll probably give gift this to a friend or i don't know where it is a pj shirt who knows but yeah that's not really the only negative thing i have to say about the box and if you guys want to get your own again i will link it down below in the description box and if you guys enjoyed this little unboxing please give it a thumbs up let me know what your favorite item was in this box in the comments down below and with that being said i will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye